Okay, now we're going to take the video that we backed up on our USB drive and play it back on our computer. The first thing we do is we take the USB drive and insert it into the computer's USB port. And the important thing there is to make sure you know which uh, port it's or which uh, drive it is. So I go to my computer and I'm going to double click that and uh, here on the uh, menu it's showing me my different drives. I've got multiple hard drives but here is my USB drive and that is drive number F or letter F. I'm going to click on that and I've got three files on here because I've got all my soft, uh, softball information but I've got my video play and then a numeric file which is actually the video itself. And uh, so what I'm going to do there is I'm going to just double click the video play folder and I'm going to take that super play file and I'm going to drag it onto my desktop so it's easy to find. At this point I can go ahead and close this file down. I remember that it's the F drive on my computer and that's all I'll need to remember at this point. I'm going to double click the super player file and it's going to allow you to install the software. My software is already on here so it's going to allow me to repair it or put the icons back where they'll uh, be easily found. So I'm going to go ahead and click. Just allow that to install if it asks you uh, should I install this program. Hit yes or I agree. Once the uh, program's installed <clears throat> you'll have an icon on your desktop that looks just like this. Orange icon with a play button on it and the file's called Super Play. And I'm going to go ahead and load that program now by double clicking this. I'll open that up to full screen so we can see what's going on here. And I've got, uh, in this case, a, a lot of video uh, shots that are all blank. Over here I've got a Open Path or Open Disk button. And all I need to do here is open the path. So I'm clicking on Open Path. And in the center of the screen I've got a pop-up box that's asking me where are my video files. And I remembered that it's on drive number F. So uh, here's my drive F. And I've got the video play file. I don't need that and I don't need my softball information but the numeric file. And it should already be highlighted. Once that's there I'm going to click OK. And at this point all I need to do is go ahead and hit the play button on my player because it's loaded the video. And this is the file of the Firebird we talked about pulling into the parking lot. If I get impatient I can go over here to my features and this is why I like the DVR playback software over the AVI file is it allows me to pause the video go back into the play mode and once I'm in the play mode I can do a pull down box and run it at two times speed four times eight times sixteen quarter speed or half speed so it gives me those options. Uh, this case the person's getting out of the vehicle and he must be about thirty seconds away from my front door because you'll notice the front door video screen popped up. And that's because it's set to trigger about 30 seconds prior to an activity actually taking place. And this is the most important one, which is when he walks through the front door. I'm going to double click that. And I just want to see, did he have his package in his hand when he came through the door? So here he is approaching the door, walking in the door, and at this point uh, standing in my lobby and I'm going to pause it but obviously we can see that uh, he has his uh, package in his hand. Now on this monitor I'm stretched out so I'm a little bit wider uh, format than normal but I can very clearly see that he did have his packages in hand. I can complete playing that video, I can pause it, I can back up, fast forward, uh, do those features as I need to uh, on the uh, features of the playback software. And that's how you play back a video from your...